Hope y'all enjoying y'all Saturday. Today we're going back to the most iconic moments in NBA history. It could be a shock. It could be a block. It could be whatever. Uh, be sure to leave a like on the video if you're new around here. Subscribe. Every time I tell y'all to subscribe, so many more people flood that button. So I'm trying to continue to grow this channel. I want to hit 200K sometime soon. And the only way I could do that is if you help by leaving a like and subscribing. So let's get to the reaction. I mean, the first one, we talk about iconic shots in the finals. It's two ones that come to mind instantly. This is one of them. Chris Bosh with the board. Kick it out to Jesus. Shut work in the corner. Bang! Tie game with five seconds remaining. Come on, man. There's two shots. If this shot does not go in, Miami does not get this championship. History is completely different. Oh, oh, this iconic. Paul George, 360 windmill. This is what I mean when I say I'm, I'm looking for good calls. That is a good call. The reaction is beautiful. Oh, Steph Curry versus four. And then the three. Iconic. Yes, bro. So far, three for three on iconic moments. Like, come on, bro. Come on, G. Like, what are you supposed to do in that situation? MVP. 30. And look, the coach, Steve Curry's like, come on, man. What are you on? And that's how it ended. Oh my god, Dwayne. I need to refresh my memory. I don't remember you doing Oh yeah, that's the Yeah, yes, let's go. Okay. Okay. Ended him. Ended him. Oh man, B man. B man. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him, B. Oh man. Bro, rest in peace, Kobe, bro. Oh my god. Him being inducted to the Hall of Fame. I wish we would have been able to get that speech. I know everybody's been saying it, but it's facts, man. Kobe had a way of talking that made you listen to what he was saying, no matter what the context was. Um, we're not going to get that, but we can still celebrate his career, his life. And, yes, iconic moments, definitely one of them. Shout out to Kobe, man. Shout out to Kobe, man. The team he is on is trash. Actually, no. I see, I see Powell. So, this is not a bad team. It's actually one of the really good Kobe teams. Blocked by James. Ah. Uh, I love this call. Yeah. Bro, some of the best calls have come from that man right there, bro. He's so good at his job. Not LeBron. Obviously, LeBron is great at his job, too. But uh, Mike Breen, right? Mike Breen is so good at his job, bro. He, this is the perfect iconic call. Listen to the call, bro. Oh, Stacy King. Stacy King also great at his job for those reasons. When those highlight plays happen, Stacy King is giving you something, bro. I want to go higher. Let's go. Another super iconic shot. Um, I think it's number three on my list because it wasn't the finals. You know what I'm saying? It's not the finals, and if he missed that shot, they don't lose. They go to OT, you know what I'm saying? So, it's an amazing shot. It is an iconic shot, but I think it's number three on my all-time list behind Jesus Sutterworth, Ray Allen, behind Kyrie Irving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, baptism. Baptism. Come on, Gallo. You should have known better than mess with Prime Blake Griffin on a break. Oh. Hey, the springs that were in this man's knees were ridiculous. Away and oh, is this the jump over Tim Hardaway Jr.? Literally. Literally jumped over an entire six and a half foot man. Oh, AI step over. AI step over. Oh. Oh, my God. And I forgot that was even in overtime, bro. It steps over him, bro. I wanted to wear these Reeboks so bad in this moment, bro. Mm, looked down at him and stepped over him. And they didn't even see that as disrespect. Oh, this is LeBron Bank for game. Oh. I guess it wasn't for game. It was to go to OT. But still, yes. I, bro, is this Brazy? I think this is Brazy on the, on the clipping. He is killing the game. We're only a few minutes into this when he is killing the game. Um, this is the snatch block, ain't it? Yeah, this is the snatch block by Blake Griffin. 
Yeah, shout out to Blinky Blake. Yes. I'm telling you, man, those Lob City days. Baptism. Baptism. Don't jump, Jason. Uh, every time I try to warn this man about what's going to happen to him, and he never listens. He never listens, bro. Oh, th of course. This is this is number one. And don't get clustered in that shot, man. It does not get clustered. All the whole scenario coming back three one, the everything about that. Oh, oh, Chris Paul, Chris Paul, man. Do y'all know the significance of this? Y'all know I'm a Chris Paul super fan. There's not a bigger Chris Paul fan in the world. I honestly believe the significance of the shot. Obviously, this is a game seven game winner. But this whole game, this man Chris Paul is playing with a calf. Injury. I mean, I'm a quad injury. You will see if I rewind this clip after he hit a shot. Pay attention to the way he's limping. He played this entire game with a calf injury. Earlier in this game, look at look at him limping around. Earlier in this game, he gets injured and he leaves the game for a few minutes. He tells Blake Griffin, "Bro, it's all on you now because I can barely walk right now." He ends up having one of the greatest game seven performances and ended it with the game winner. And he was so hurt. He didn't even play the next series. They went on to the next round, and his calf, I mean, his, his quad was so messed up, he couldn't even play. But he had the adrenaline pumping, and he put this shot up over Tim Duncan. Come on, man. Oh. Bro, when I meet Chris Paul one day, if I meet Chris Paul one day, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna fan I'm gonna be a fangirl. I'm sorry. I'm gonna fangirl out. Wow, I do not remember that. I do remember these series being ridiculous, but I do not remember him baptizing Birdman like this. I ain't got nothing but time now, so I need to go back and rewatch this entire series. Oh, Kevin. This is the first this is the first game of the season. Um maybe not the first official game. But the reason I remember this is because there was commercial with this angle after he hit the shot. There was a commercial that kept playing this. And maybe it was the first game of the season. And I think it's the year he ended up winning MVP. Somebody fact check that. I think that was the year he ended up winning MVP. Great shot, man. Great shot from Kev. I miss watching Kevin Durant play basketball, dog. I cannot wait to see that man's on the court again because he was... It's, just, it's not many scores in NBA history that can get it like him. Oh, baptism. And it's a very job. Rest in peace, G. If you fall... If somebody dunk on you and your legs go up like this vertically, this there's no worse. It's no worse dunk on you, bro. There's no worse dunk on you. Look at his legs. Straight up, bro. Mm. Mm -mm. Paul George, hold on. I got us. Cal Singler, don't come out here because I got us. Oh, gee, bro. That's literally the logo. Oh, he got his own rebound. Give it to Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Steven Adams' hand-eye coordination to pull off that play is ridiculous. Oh, my God. James Harden between the defenders and one. And one. Yes, I gave him the and one. They fouled the hell out of that man. And he still knocked it down. Yeah. They fouled the hell out of this man. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, I remember my the exact moment, the exact moment in time where I was when he hit this shot. Oh my god. Steve Kerr let that man be himself on oh, another baptism for Blake Griffin. Yeah. Has Kendrick Perkins ever came out and talked about this moment? He be on TV a bunch a lot. You know what I'm saying? He be on TV a bunch. The man be on uh on Twitter a bunch. Does he has he ever talked about this moment? Oh, the Brandaway recreation. For game in the series. The first playoff win in 14 years. First playoff series win in 14 years right here. Beautiful. I don't know how you lose that man on this shot. But they did and he made them pay. Russell Westbrook set history on this shot right here. Eliminated. Eliminated the Nuggets from playoffs contention. And made history in one shot. One shot did all of that. Oh. Oh. Brandon Knight had a career. 
that uh as filled with low lights i say that much as filled with low lights missed game winning layups um get it crossed up by Kyrie in a rise of stars challenge and that is the worst one. Oh, kobe pull up double team don't have to pass it double team don't have to pass it the fist pump lamar jumps into his hands is that tim thomas kurt thomas is one of the thomases can't believe it double team don't have to pass it oh man damn bro watch these cuts make me so sad but i keep trying to tell myself you can't get sad you gotta you gotta just you gotta enjoy the moments we did have you know what i'm saying but i can't help it i can't help it this gets me so sad in the pro toes damn paul pierce he ain't called bank he called game he didn't call bank he called game there's no better defense than what they what i think that was ken Bazemore and dennis Schroeder. they played amazing defense there's nothing they can really do in that situation nothing more you can really do in that situation he called game Shout out to Paul Pierce, man. Shout out to Paul Pierce. What we got? Oh, my God. I do not remember that pass. On Christmas? Woo! Them Christmas jerseys were trash, though. I ain't going to cap to you. Uh, a lot of LeBron iconic moments. Bro, this mix has been incredible. We still got four minutes of iconic plays. This one has been a good one. I remember so many of these. I remember this one too. I hate that I remember this one, but I remember this one too. Can we just get past this one? Didn't even hit the net. Didn't even hit the net. Oh yeah, this is a funny moment. He just throws it up there. Kimball Walker's like, come on, goddamn, bro, pass me the ball. And then it goes in. <laughs> Oh, man. That's hilarious. Look at Kimba Walker's body language right here. He's like, bro, what the hell, man? That's the shot we get. And it goes in. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, Paul Pierce. Get up, Paul. He went from having highlights to lowlights real quick. I so Joe, man. So slow. Two very slow players going at it. Methodical. Uh. Get up, G. Buckets. Buckets. Cole. Jill Wallace. Don't jump. Chris Humphreys. Why would you think that was a good idea? Maybe because this is an older Kobe. Maybe that's why you thought it was a good idea. But still don't jump. It's cold. Bang. And he did it from the same spot the year after. The one moment that people forget about this is Steph Curry twerking after the shot. Why Steph Curry? Why is Steph Curry twerking after this shot? Why is he twerking? What is he doing? Why are you doing this, my G? He had the same exact shot the next year. It's crazy. Same exact spot late in the fourth quarter. Steph Curry, making Chris Paul fall. Oh, jeez. Oh, not my guy like that. I think he stepped on his foot, but I'm not giving no excuses. If you fall, he oh, he stepped on Steph's foot. Slipped a little bit. That's fine. Gerald, go get it, Gerald. Oh, my God. Again, that is the greatest in-game dunk I've ever seen. The greatest in-game dunk I've ever seen. Nobody has matched this. I ain't talking posters. I just mean, like, creativity in the moment. But hold on, D-Rose. Hold on. D-Rose got us. Bang. It's over. The Bulls win at the buzzer. You already know. Stale face, Rose, man. One of the last game winners we saw Derrick Rose hit as a part of the Chicago Bulls, man. Bang. It's over. The Bulls win at the buzzer. Yep. Steph Curry. It, it don't get better defense than that, but then he got the open look. And that one was a foul. That one was a foul. Let's be honest with each other. They fouled that. Actually, eh, I think he just, oh, he oversold it. He oversold it. Wesley Johnson. I ain't seen this man play basketball since this day. Since this day. Stared at him, and you had to finish it, and he did. Shout out to Wesley Johnson though. He got back on defense. Oh, back got back on offense like nothing happened. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. How can we have iconic moments and not have a Michael Jordan game winner in the finals? That Chicago Bulls documentary is coming out on the 19th or starting on the 19th. I cannot wait, bro. I cannot wait. Push off. Don't matter. He's the GOAT. Utah fans can stand this man. And that was it. Oh, we ain't going to the next one. You know what I'm saying? That's enough reactions for today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe as always. This has been Kenny. Peace out, y'all.